When it comes to finances, you and your significant other must be on the same page. It's never too late to map out a financial game plan that works for you. Our great friend of the show, money expert J.B. Bryant, is back with some helpful tips. I see our, can our, our topic today is love and money. And money. Yes. Not love of money. Right, or not love in money. <laughs> that's love right. Love in money. <laughs> love, no, not love not in, love but love. for money. That's right. It's and, love and money. And family, and, and love. And love and money can go together. Okay. And and if you and you're uh, going to tell us how. That's right. right. Okay. Can, good. Family finances are very important. And as last week we talked about just love, but now we're going to talk about you know just money and bring that whole Valentine's thing and money together okay. right. in talking more. There was a, a survey done by TD Bank, and they said that the happy couples, they asked, like, which couples are happy? And 90% of the couples that were happy, Bill, they said that they talk about money at least once a week. So, and can, they're happy? And, and they're happy. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're probably, look, and, and 95 of them are very rich right okay, now. Yeah, but, I was going to no, say. But, no, <laughs> that's just a joke. But 90% of the happy couples said that they did talk about money at least once a week. And unfortunately, the couples that said that they were unhappy were those who said they felt that they had waited too long to start talking about money. Okay, so, so you got to communicate. Yes, you've and, got to and, and, and know everybody's on the same page. So that's step one. And then how do you grow your money? Uh, just talking about it's not going to make it grow. And that's a key question. How do we want to grow our money? Because uh, it's easy for couples to decide that we do need to save. But a key point is for couples to think about how to grow, how to invest their money. That's that next step past saving. Because and too often couples agree that we need to take care and protect and you know make sure that we have what we have. But it's very important for them to start thinking about retirement and how we're going to grow the money so that we have a comfortable retirement together. So they need to agree on what type of investment options they're comfortable with and what is the risk tolerance for them individually and what is their risk tolerance together as a so, couple. So just saving it together is not enough. Then everybody's got to be on the same page. Where, what's the next? You Great. can't say one person say, well, we got to save for a vacation in Hawaii. And the other That's one say, it. I got to save for retirement or for the college fund for the kids. So true. Some people will probably be convinced that a good plan is to take that trip. And the other, uh, the, and the spouse might say, Some well, people no. sitting right next to you think it's a <laughs> you good think idea. The trip is yeah, the best I idea. think it's a And then I, think. we were married, right? And I would say, Well, I'm going to no, marry no. you because you got That's money. Good. So good. you and I can get along fine. I just use yours. <laughs> and right. I have a lot of love for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Everything. That's our segment for today. Exactly. <laughs> Everything. All right. All right. So uh, let's talk about uh, progress and financial progress. What does that mean? And then that is when we decide that we need to sit down and look at our financial statements, look at your IRAs, look at your work retirement plans, look at your insurance policies, and make sure that each of you know about these things. I've seen some really sad things happen to people over my career where uh, uh, the spouse dies and they don't realize that during their illness the mortgage wasn't being paid you know so there's no excuse we need to talk and make sure that we both understand what's going on in the household and what insurance policies who are the beneficiary on the insurance policies and talk about these things how often well, at least once a quarter, you should be sitting down and talking about all of your financial statements, looking at the bank statements, too, and looking at everything together. Sounds like you're setting up a marriage corporation here. Yes. So, uh, well, this is a perfect marriage that we're making right here on, on this show this morning. This is a financial. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know we'd set marriage. our goals that high. <laughs> all right. So uh, let's talk about independence, because you've got to have some independence in here, right? Well, it depends on what works for the couple. There may be couples that say that we keep all of our money safe separately, but the challenge there will be that if you don't want to have any commingling of the money, making sure that there's no one keeping secrets about what they're spending their money on. You don't want any surprises to come up. And that would lead to an unhappy couple. So, but, so individuality is important, but you have to realize that as a couple, what you do with your money does impact the other, your partner. So those things are very important to look at, it, so as we're well back, as... We're back to step one, which is communicate again. Com so even if, even if you're not putting it all in one pot and, and dealing with it like that, mm -hmm. if you're keeping it separated, you've got to communicate. Say, okay, here's what I do with mine. What did you That's do right. with yours? And not just talking. 
because they, they probably are comfortable with talking about it, but communicating in this example is taking it a step farther and actually looking at your statements, looking at what you actually have, and then going into budgeting and actually saying, do we need to have a detailed budget or do we need to just summarize where we're spending our money? But the more detailed you can be about where your money is going, where your investments are, how everything is set up, the happier the couple will be financially, definitely. Okay, I think we just did it. I think we got a we have perfect it. situation. Yes. I want to thank our friend JB. Love, actually. And, and folks, if you like listening to this kind of great advice, her money seminars have become so popular, she's moved to a new location. JB offers free money seminars at the Coliseum. No, 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 it's not that big yet. <laughs> Every Wednesday at noon on select Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. at their new office, 3900 Wisteria Parkway, Suite 300, and Richmond pre-registration is required before we actually move it to the Coliseum. Visit That's us online right. at wtvr.com slash VTM.